straight up. It's a lot of going up and down and getting your body used to breathing the thin air. It's kind of like climbing a smaller mountain every day. So Mount Everest is so high, you have to use oxygen. The weather didn't go to be honest at all. We endured some pretty cold temperatures down to negative 40. Today's the day. This is our last time going up. The morning of May 22nd, 2010. The sun had risen. I saw the beautiful summit pyramid. I looked at my dad, and I said, Dad, it's right there. At that moment, I knew that four years of preparing for this climb was finally going to pay off. The things I remembered from reaching the summit was taking those final few steps and touching the top of the world. A moment that I had dreamed my whole life. Yeah, I can't believe it. One of the first things I did when I reached the summit was when we pulled out the sat phone and called my mom. I could hear her in tears. She was just so happy. And she said, come back down so I can hug you to death. I remember seeing the Earth curve out in the distance. We were surrounded by all these giant Himalayan mountains. I couldn't have done this at all without the support of my dad and my family. So never be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Always believe in yourself. And don't be afraid to go big. Find your Everest. <laughs> you just watched the TTI. I'll have to see chat. Wish the magic would never end? Well, your wish is the Russo's command. More listen to play every place is next on Disney Channel. Now we're back to listen to Waverly Place on Disney Channel. I'm not going to Youngstown with you. Oh, it sure is, buddy. We were wrong to make you do that before. But you see, now you got a real sweet deal with these Russo characters. <laughs> I sure do. We got a pretty sweet deal, too. <laughs> see you, buddy. And this is us making an exit. <laughs>